Hey guys, welcome in this new video. Today we are here to talk about the Strike 3 settings, my settings, with this glider. Let's go! So, what about this lovely glider after a few months of use? Um, it's awesome. I love it, I carry it everywhere, it's, it's just awesome. It's durable, it's really high performing, 1 meter DLG. I think it's the highest performer uh, in the world of 1, point, uh, 1 meter DLG. And so far, I love it. So, um, what about the settings? So, first of all, my CG is 58 to 58.5 millimeters from the leading edge. So, some people will say, oh my gosh, it's so far back. But, it's the way I like it. Otherwise, it's not in a nimble, it's, yeah, it's not as I like it. So, yeah, this is the CG I use. The flight mode. I will not talk about the trim settings for the tail uh, for each flight mode because it will change depending of your CG. So I will talk only about flaps. Only the preset I will say for the elevator what I use, but it will change a bit uh, depending of your CG too. So think about that. So as I said, speed mode first. And surprisingly, no, not really. Uh, it's I said it as all the gliders. I tested everything, but what works the best is flat at the bottom. So the bottom of the wing is perfectly straight. So you take a rudder and put it under the wing, and it should be perfectly in line. So the, the bottom of the wing should be perfectly in line with the rudder. Simple like this. So it should be around 1.5 mm up. It's not that big of a deal, but it makes a huge change. So about a half millimeter of um, variation in your camber make a huge difference. So think about that because it's a small glider. So. You, you will pay attention about this and really really it changed a lot the maximum speed when you're in speed mode if you change it by a half millimeter. Then the cruise mode. So as usual because I do like this on every single glider I know is molded in cruise mode. Zero. Zero millimeter. It's simple like this. You just put it in line with the tab. That's it, this is my cruise mode. And it cruises really well. Then, the slow cruise, because I don't need to cruise at this speed all the time. So I put a slow cruise mode, which is two millimeters down. As my usual settings, it was two millimeters. So around 1.5 to two millimeters, yes. So because, yeah, you know, it's it's picky to, to know exactly, but yeah, uh, 1.5 mm, 2 mm down. And the full thermals and the minimum sink rate is exactly the same. It's 5 mm down. So quite easy. 5 mm down for max thermal and minimum sink rate. But it will not be the same elevator trim because you don't look for the same thing. Uh, and as a quick note, uh, I don't use maximum thermal that often. So only in really, really, really light thermals or really, really strong when I just want to turn super tight. Yeah, it, but otherwise I use more uh, three to four millimeters maximum. So yes, the f five millimeters is only for super, super weak thermal in the morning or really strong thermal, as I said. What about the preset? So uh, surprisingly, I never did that before. The ailerons doesn't move at all. Um, for the presets, the ailerons don't move. Only the elevator and rudder. 
because yes I know I already said I will do a video especially about the rudder presets but I didn't manage to do it yet but I will do it soon it's I promise you uh, yes so 2 mm rudder preset and about 1.5 to 2 mm elevator preset that's it you don't need more I think or if you have really a much more forward CG maybe a little bit more but that's it so why the rudder preset uh, I talked about it when I was flying with the Flitz I think uh, in a previous video something like one year ago um, because to counter better the snacking a bit of rudder preset is a bit appreciated so yeah I think you should try it if you have never tried it uh, but that's pretty much it now about the air brakes so air brakes flaps call it as you want to but me it's on a momentary switch so when I put them uh, at the start I need to compensate with my elevator and then it's a quick tip for setting your trim for or compensation for the air brakes should be set only uh, for the speed of the glider when the full flaps are deployed signs two or three seconds when is at a stable speed okay because if you set it for the moment when you deploy it uh, after when it will be stable at its stable uh, state uh, the glider will die so just set it for the, the good speed as when you deploy them it's normal that the glider wobble a bit it's not a big deal so you just compensate a bit with the elevator or it's, it's not that dramatic so now about my differential my differential on this glider is 9 millimeters up 15 millimeters down so it's set on cruise mode so if you put it on max thermal it will be because max thermal is 5 millimeters you will get 4 millimeters four millimeters up 20 millimeters down if you put it on speed mode because it's around 1.5 millimeter up it will be uh, 10.5 millimeters up and 13.5 millimeters down so yeah it's changed with the flight mode but because you change the trim of the um, the servo so uh, now about the throw of elevator and rudder so my elevator is around seven millimeters up and down and my rudder 12 millimeter each side which is good i think but it's for my cg so it might change the bond of your cg yeah i think that's pretty much it uh so just a quick note um my full flaps uh so air brakes is 26 millimeters but if you can get more just put more it's just a, a quick note uh yeah that's it and i taped the i did the gap seal i don't know if you can tell but i think it improved a bit better the top speed so yeah that was a quick tip so that's it for me for today thank you a lot for watching and see you next time bye